and you hear somebody playing you know, a violin sonata in the back, and you also hear the rustling of autumn leaves, those can both be music. They can, they can both be music together. They can harmonize together in non-traditional ways. Alright, I know where I'm starting. Okay. In general, I did not know what to expect. I wasn't totally sure what it was gonna look like. So, the people in this group dragged me into this, and I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing still. How are you feeling before this project? Ambivalent. What, what are you looking to get out of this? Uh, uh, abject deference. I, like, ran across campus to the CFA, and, um, like, got some of my performers, and it just felt like such a mess initially and then i showed up and everybody was dressed all fancy and they just seemed so excited and i was like okay this might be okay this might be cute this might be fun i have a squirrel with me beautiful well a lot happened on sunday in the world but most specifically uh the our tonal harmony class did a performance of Pauline Olivares' Link. Very Wesleyan, big Wesleyan energy. He's gonna shut us down. My name is Lance and I have a tambourine. I'm hoping to bring some love and joy with my tambourine. Just enjoy your life. There's many different things that are happening at the same time with percussion and sound walks and dance. We moved around the Wesleyan campus and listened for spots and locations on campus that had very distinct soundscapes. A lot of the background noise that we usually filter out can actually tell us a lot about where we are. Costumes are part of the score and the instructions for the piece is for many people to be dressed sort of as, I think the phrase is costume guardians. I'm a mermaid if you couldn't tell, I'm a bear. It's supposed to be like Nyx, the goddess of the night. Very cool. Um, hence the star crown. Stationed around campus, kind of like keeping the unity of the piece and reminding people of what this is central to, which is sound. So they were pointing at the different sounds that were being made. The whole purpose of Link is to do unusual things in place in a place that you're familiar with. We're going to these locations that we've been many times before, but we're doing it differently than we usually do. We are dressed differently. We might be playing some instruments. We might be walking with people that we've never met before. We might be interacting with new people. And we're also appreciating the sound of these locations in ways that we never have before. class collectively marveled in the uh, kind of fever dream-ish nature of it. People are doing things that I've never seen people do, so this is great. I will, yeah. something to be music, it can be music. I think I didn't realize the amount of peace that kind of exists in the Wesleyan soundscape. Getting to like really spend time focusing on the birds and the wind whistling through the like new branches and like hearing stuff flutter to the ground that was really really cool and i was like grateful for that experience the qr codes were low-key the best part 
It took me to a jitsi.neat call. I scan a QR code and it's my teacher's mom, my teacher's 80 year old mother. She flips to page 45 of this like book and starts reading like this weird like German prose. It was kind of funny in a what the fuck is happening kind of way. When I was on a QR code thing with a lady, um, when I started leaning into and like messing around with her, that's when it became like a lot more meaningful of an experience to me and I could tell that she kind of lit up when I was willing to lean into it too. So I don't think that like the technology or the social distancing was really a barrier, but it was more like all of us needing to figure out how to do this in this space and get comfortable with doing a weird thing. So the next step for this class, like for all of us, is we have been given compilations of videos that were taken during the link performance that we did. They have no sound, so they're like these little silent films and we have to score the films. It has to be scored within, loosely within the rules of tonal harmony. There is a specific set of chord progressions that you can, you can or cannot use depending on what key you're in. That kind of goes totally against the way that the actual project was created, which was with no real guidelines, trying to get a story out of things that are just randomly handed to you, especially when you don't get to use words, you're only using music. I think it's gonna be a challenge. Being creative as a break from learning the language in a way that is not with tonal harmony. I feel like that's a bit counterintuitive to the purpose of the class. I'm pretty sure that the, te the, like, the teacher only wanted to do it because she'd seen like some festival with the composer like a while ago and it's the composer's 80th birthday or it's like the 50th anniversary of the piece existing or something. It was one of those, I wanna get this into one of my classes somehow. I don't see a harm in that. She's a total nerd for experimental music. And I think she was thinking of a way to introduce us to something that she's really passionate about. <laughs> What's this instrument? It's the arhu is a Chinese instrument. There's a snake skin, so it's like where the sound kind of like comes out of. Wesleyan's music department has a history of being you know, on the forefront of the experimental music movement. Yeah, a lot of current like cutting edge like experimental musicians are professors at Wesleyan. Wes is totally about things like this piece where it's like weird and abstract and you don't know who the audience is, who's the performer, what's going on. It's the absence of uh, any like normal day-to-day. -day. There's always going to be something strange, like not, if, if you look hard enough. It's really about having a large group of people, a campus community that's willing to immerse itself in unusual experimental acts. Not a single person questioned what we were doing, which was so weird. Like, I don't, I didn't even hear of anybody who got asked, what are you guys doing? Everyone just kind of accepted it as Wesleyan. And I think in order for that to happen, you need to have a cohesive community ethos. You need to have students who are willing to take risks, students and community members who are willing to, um, put themselves out there, even among people that they don't know intimately. And I think all of that are, those are characteristics of Wesleyan that I think make this school very special, but also enable this type of art making. I was experiencing it as much as I was contributing to it. I was a performer, but I definitely felt more like an audience member. 
because everything was new to me. Like, I didn't know that we were gonna start jamming at the end. We got into a little drum circle. <laughs> As a whole, it's something that one person couldn't have thought up because it's a bunch of different people thinking up their own things all being combined together to create uh, this, you could, you could either call it a, like, a mess or a masterpiece. Stop talking to yourself. What do you hear? 